Welcome to Joystick my friend. In this video you will learn to solve a problem from lead code which is a reverse string. The problem statement is simple. You are given a string s but that is given to you as an array of characters like this. You need to reverse this string. Now the condition is that you must do it by modifying the same array and not using any extra array to accomplish the task. That means you must do this in o1 space. We will first look into the algorithm which we will adapt to solve this problem. So let's roll on. But before that, a humble request to you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of these coding tutorial videos that I create for you. All right. So you can see the string given is represented as a character array on this Excel sheet. The basic idea when performing a reversal is that you need to perform an exchange of the characters. By exchange of characters, I mean that you first perform the exchange of the first and the last characters. Then you perform the exchange of the second character with that of the second last character and so on. This is the basic idea. To perform that, we'll make use of two variables i and j. i will represent the cell at index 0 and j will represent the last index of this array. Now let's perform the exchange of the values represented by i and j. So this h goes to the last cell and 0 over here is going to come to the first cell. The exchange has happened. Now i is going to move one cell to the right and j is going to move one cell to the left. Now let's perform the exchange again. So this e moves to this cell. Let me park it over here. And this L moves over here. And let me bring E in this second last cell. You can see the reversal of the string has already happened, but the algorithm doesn't know about it. So I is going to proceed to the right still and J is going to move one cell to the left. Now they both represent the same cell. When this happens that i and j are representing the same cell, that's the signal that the process needs to stop and the reversal has already happened. The task has been accomplished. Okay. Now this is string hello has an odd number of characters. Suppose this L was not there. We remove it for the time being. Then I would move from here to here and would start representing the second last cell. So let me move it over here and J would start representing the second cell. All right. We have imagined that the L, which is the middle character of this string doesn't exist. So what has happened here? The index represented by I is greater than that represented by J. So this is the signal to the algorithm to stop when the number of characters is even in the string. I'm sure the algo is now clear to you. Let's implement it in a Java program. Let me create a class a reverse string in my project. First, I'm going to name the class as a reverse string. There you go. Class created. I'm now going to create the main function too by simply typing PSVN. The IntelliJ is going to do the rest of the work for me. All right. So the main function has been created. I highly recommend you code this program along with me because that way you will understand this program better. The first thing we are going to do is to declare and initialize a character array to the elements of the string hello. So we are going to do that by writing char square brackets. We are going to name it s only after the equals to sign. We'll write new char square brackets and within curly braces, we'll write the elements of the string hello. So the first element will be H, second element will be E, third element will be L, fourth element will be L again, and fifth element will be O. Okay. Now we will declare two variables i and j. They will be integer variables only. So we are going to write int i comma j. All right. Now we'll initialize i to zero because it will start from the first index of the array and initialize j to the last index of the array, which we can easily find out by subtracting one 
from the length of the character array s so it will be equals to sign s dot length minus one this is going to give j the last index of the character array s we'll start a while loop now and its condition will be i less than j that means the process is going to stop the moment i gets either equal to j or i becomes greater than j all right within the body of the while loop we'll simply write the code that we use to swap the values of two variables for that we'll declare a character variable temp so let's declare it just before the while loop it will be char temp within the body of the while loop we are going to assign the value of the cell at index i to the temp variable first so it will be temp equals to s square brackets and within square brackets it will be i now we'll assign to the cell represented by i the value of the cell represented by j so it will be s i equals to s j okay finally we will assign to the cell represented by j the value stored in temp so it will be s within square brackets j equals to temp that's it that's the code to swap the values of two variables now the next two code statements are very necessary from saving this loop from becoming an infinite loop for the i variable to proceed right we'll increment it by one and for the variable j to proceed to the left we'll decrement it by one so it will be after the while loop we'll print the character array s that's the only remaining task we can easily do it using system dot out dot print ln and within its brackets we'll pass s the program is over now let's run it and check if it reverses our string which is hello there you go the reverse of the string hello is printed on the screen i have already submitted this program on lead code and it has passed all the test cases so with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed learning to solve this problem from lead code i hope you coded this problem along with me i look forward to helping you with programming and algorithms goodbye and take very good care of yourself